Because my fear is that there's so many people who have been brought up in church who somehow missed the gospel. Who somehow missed out on realizing that they needed a savior. Who didn't realize that even their good deeds fall short of God's standards. Jesus said there's nobody good. Like, see, our, our scale of judgment is based on good and bad. But in God's eyes, Jesus, God, God says, like, nobody is good. No, everyone falls short of God's standard. This is when you look at the Beatitudes. Well, we like to talk about the Beatitudes and just think it's great, right? Jesus is making a point that we're not good enough. What do you mean by that? Well, Jesus said, hey, if you even lust after another person, he says, if you've committed adultery. See, some of us would be like, oh, well, I've never cheated on my spouse. So I'm, I'm, I'm better than that person. Yeah, but you probably lusted, which in God's eyes is no different. Some of us are like, well, I've never committed murder. Well, God says, hey, guess what? If you've even gotten angry at someone, it's as if you've committed murder. Jesus' whole point in making those statements is to say, we have all fallen short of God's standards. Nobody is good enough. And this is why good people need the gospel. They need a savior. This is why, and friends, let me tell you something. This is why even church kids, and if you've grown up in church, like you need the gospel. It is a fallacy to think just because you've gone to church all your life, you become this good moral person. You've never drank, you never smoked, you never cussed. I'm getting to heaven. And that is such a dangerous place to be at when you think that somehow you've earned it. See, true grace is knowing that you needed a savior even for your good works because they still fall short. 